Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Saturday, the 22nd day of April, year 2023. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen as I bless you this morning and pray for you prophetically. In the book of John chapter number 6, Jesus and his disciples wanted to feed a large crowd, a large number of people. And initially there was nothing, but later on there was little provision. I want to use this scripture to pray for somebody this morning that what is not enough for you today, the power of God will come upon it and it will multiply and there shall be a leftover. When Jesus asked his disciples, where can we get bread? And suddenly a young boy came up and the, the young man, you know, volunteered his five loaves of bread and two small fishes. And the Lord used that to feed a large number of people because the Lord multiplied it. Somebody is hearing me this weekend. The Lord God Almighty will cause power of multiplication to come upon what is not enough for you today, and it will become more than enough. In the name of Jesus Christ, you that you are grumbling, you are complaining, in fact you are crying, that what is given to you cannot even do you to do anything. Beloved, I want you to commit it into the hand of the Lord. The Lord will take over. The Lord will breathe upon that which is not enough today. And God will make it to be enough and more than enough for you. In Jesus' name. I am praying for you this Saturday. That the Almighty God will come to your rescue. The Lord will come to your aid. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord says I should tell somebody. He said the plan and the wish of the enemy is that they want to disgrace and embarrass you. But the Lord says I should tell you this morning that you will not see shame. I say amen to that. He said you will not see shame. You will not see embarrassment. But rather, he said he will use your case to prove to the people that he is the Almighty. I say amen to that. That is what the Lord is going to do in the life of somebody hearing the sound of my voice this morning. In Jesus' name. All of you that are going to be traveling this weekend, I pray for you that your journey shall be peaceful. You will go in peace and you will return in peace. For those of you that have occasion to attend, I decree by the anointing of God that the Lord will make everything to end in praise. Are you getting married today? Your friend, your son, your daughter, or your f- somebody close to you is getting married or having an occasion today? I pray that the Lord will take over. There shall be no casualty. There shall be no injury. There shall be no cause to regret. In Jesus' name. All of you that are praying for us, all of you that are wishing us well, all of you that are supporting the work of God in our hands, the Lord will bless you, the Lord will increase you and multiply you always. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen. I believe as I receive. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today is Saturday. We are still continuing our Bible reading from the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15 and 16 today. Today we are reading Acts chapter 15 and Acts chapter number 16. Some of the major highlights is that in chapter 15 of the book of Acts, you will see how Paul and Barnabas came back from their first missionary journey and they came to give report. And also towards the end, you will see a a kind of misunderstanding that rose up, you know, that came up between Paul and Barnabas over John Mark, and they had to go their separate ways. But that was for the gospel to, you know, for the work of God to increase and to prosper. And also when you come to chapter 16 of the book of Acts of the Apostle, you know, you will still see a lot of things that happened in the place, how Paul and Silas, they came to Debbie, and, you know, a lot of works. And also that is where you will see where Paul received the, you know, the vision to come over to Macedonia to preach the gospel. So please read Acts of the Apostle chapter 15 and chapter 16 today. The Lord bless you. Now let's take some testimonies this morning to glorify God and see what the Lord has done and is doing in our lives. The first testimony today say, good afternoon, our daddy in the Lord. Happy new month and happy Sunday to you and your family 
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to testify to the goodness of God in my life. Just yesterday, as usual, as we always give something to someone for every first day of the month, which I did with the little I had, I gave to some persons. That same day, after leaving the shop to my house, my friend came in with her husband and presented a gift of shoe and bag for me for the birthday I celebrated in March. It pays to serve God and it pays to be a giver because givers never lack. Thank you, Jesus, for honoring me with a good friend like I. May, his, may the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Wow, that's a good one. Another testimony. Good morning, sir. My name is Soso Person from Abuja. This testimony is long overdue. My heart will not be at peace if I don't share it. Last year, December, I tested you about my wedding. As the date was drawing nearer and there was no money to make final arrangement, and you reply that God will provide. Man of God, sir, I'm here to say thank you for what God has, for what God did for me. Honestly, on my wedding day, I could not believe it. It was as if I attended a different wedding ceremony. I want to say thank you to God for who did it, who did not let me down. May his name be praised forever. Wow, God, thank you, Lord. Another one is here. Good evening, sir. My name is Soso Persin, and I reside in Kaduna. I have sent about two testimonies that have not been read, but I will still continue to share the goodness of God in my life. After some years of trying to file for me by my son for my Can Canadian permanent residence, God granted it to me in February this year. Glory be to God. I always key to your prayers for those who have pending visa application. Favor of God on all sides. May God, may the name of God be glorified. May God Almighty continue to increase his anointing on you, sir. Amen. Another one is here. Testimony, testimony, testimony. I am a pastor resident in Kaduna. I was linked up with this glorious daily devotional hour of destiny platform on the 22nd of November, the year 2022. Since then, it has been glorious for me. Amen. I want to appreciate the Almighty God for the life of our Father in the Lord, Reverend Mike Kenyola, with this testimony of today, 19 4 2023 devotional. The servant of the Lord mentioned someone who woke up with a swollen wrist, and it comes and goes. It comes and goes. That was just accurate, referring to me. As he prayed, I received my healing. Sir, the Lord is your shepherd. And you shall not want in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor, your healing is permanent. Another one said, the testimony, I had erectile dysfunction, dysfunctional challenge. I had erectile dysfunction challenge for some years, but I started sowing seed every Sunday from January 2023. And now the merciful and faithful God has healed me. I now have full erection without any medication. I'm so, so person from Yenagua. Amen. Your healing is permanent, brother. Let me take some more testimonies because God is at work and is doing what no man can do because when, when we give him praise, he will be moved to do much more. Another testimony is a good day, Pastor Eniola. Please share my testimony. On the 5th of February, 2023, I tested you that I was not feeling my five month old pregnancy. I was not feeling the movement of the baby. And you replied me by saying it is well with me and my baby in Jesus name. And I said, Amen. Since then, my baby had been kicking, moving and even dancing. Hallelujah. Thank you for being there for us. I wish you heaven at last. Amen. God bless you. God bless your baby. You have a peaceful delivery in Jesus name. Another testimony is here. To glorify God. Good morning, my daddy in the Lord, my spiritual father. God bless you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is also Persing. I'm an ardent follower of your daily devotional. I have a correctional, I am, you know, a correctional officer serving in a particular state. God of 11th hour, uh, you know, as grace, you know, God of 11th hour grace has visited me and my family. After the burning of our prayer request of 31st of January, 
The peak of it was that on Tuesday, 7th of March, Jehovah Shalom gave my daughter admission to study nursing in the university after we have lost hope and purchased another jam form. God showed her mercy. Again, on Thursday night, while I was cultivating where to plant vegetables, my phone started ringing that a major prayer that a major prayer request had been answered. I was posted to go and head a custodial center in another state. It is only his grace and favor. Read it, sir, to encourage others who are looking on to God for one thing or the other. May the name of our God be praised all the time in Jesus' name. Remain rapturable, sir. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Thank God for lifting and promotion. Another one is here. Good morning, servant of the Most High God. My name is Soso Persin from South Africa. I would like to share my testimony with you and the family of God. On the 7th of October 2022, I wrote a prayer request after hearing so many testimonies from saints on this platform. I was pregnant after the after three miscarriages. The last one was in February 2022. I asked for prayers as I was in high-risk pregnancy and at the age of 44. I was then 18 weeks pregnant, and your rep response was, may God, may God give you a healthy baby, and may you live long to see your baby in Jesus' name. I responded by saying, Amen. You also advised me to pray and ask God to change any evil report from the doctor's and to make a covenant with God, promising to raise my child in his ways when she finally come out a healthy baby. On the 6th of March, 2023, I gave birth to a healthy and whole baby, be, be, beautiful baby girl. I named her Favor. For me, for to me and my family, she's indeed God's unmerited favor. I would like to say thank you for your prayers and advice in this, in my journey of pregnancy. At last, I also testified about the goodness of the Lord in my life. May the Lord bless you and your family and cause you to prosper in all your ministry and family needs. Wow. All the way from South Africa, our God is good. Let me take the last one for today. Good morning, sir. May the good Lord, whom we are calling day and night, continue to strengthen you in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Soso Persin, residing in Kaduna. I write to testify that on the second of this month, I gave 500 naira as my early money Thanksgiving offering, and before 24 hours, my 52,000 naira that an organization was owing me was paid in full. It can only be God. Thank you, sir. May your oil of an, the oil, the anointing of God on you shall never run dry. More unction to function. Wow. This is God. We appreciate the Lord for these beautiful and wonderful testimonies. Let us always remember that Reverend Eniola is not a miracle worker. I cannot heal an aunt. It is God who does the healing. And please let us always remember to refer the thanks and praises to him. Because the moment you start giving it to man, God will back out and nothing will happen anymore. But when you give the praise and thanksgiving to him, you will be geared up and propelled to do the more. May the Lord bless you. May God give you your own testimonies too. In Jesus' name. Remember to read your two chapters of the book of Acts of the Apostles today. Acts of the Apostles chapter 15 and chapter 16. Read it meditatively. Don't read it in a haste. Don't read it in a hurry. Read it meditatively with a pen in your hand. When you get a, when you get to a place that really stands out to you, underline it, put asterisks on it. That is a message for you from the Lord. May the Lord bless you today. May God make everything to work out in your favor. God bless you. Have a pleasant weekend. In Jesus' name, amen.